But I'm going to finish up today by talking about my uh, about puberty, because uh, which is a kind of you know spiky subject, but it is interesting because you know there's things like these kids started shooting people, which you've had in America, because guns don't kill people. It's just uh, uh, that certain noise they make, and um, <laughs> uh, it's just a bullet ripping through people's bodies. That's what kills people. Yeah, yeah have guns, but don't allow any ammunition. There, we got it. We got it sorted. <laughs> they just go. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, um, but puberty was, well, before puberty, I was at, at school, I didn't tell kids I was a transvestite because I thought they might kill me with sticks, you know? <laughs> Why? I don't know, he said a word we didn't understand. <laughs> and he won at Scrabble with it. So, yes, so uh, I played, I, I, most transvestites fancy girls, and you can tell people this. Yes, most transvestites fancy girls. Well, who told you that? A transvestite told me that. <laughs> Probably lives in a cave somewhere. <laughs> no, an executive transvestite. <laughs> oh, really? Well, fantastico. <laughs> so, yeah, so I played kiss chase with the girls. Tag a girl, she has to kiss you, kind of sexy. But then puberty came. Puberty came and destroyed my confidence, destroyed my everything, which I think is part of the thing that causes these kids to go off and, 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 do, and commit murder, essentially. Because it is such a hell of a gear change. Because think about it, it's the one time, because before puberty, girls and boys are going, girls, uh, boys, uh, uh. Then it gets to puberty, it's like going, girls, uh, or, you know, boys, boys, you know, whatever sexual preference you're going, but you just start switching on at that stage. <laughs> And you think, God, I want to get off with some of these people. I better look my best. And then Mother Nature says, no, you will look the worst you ever look in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where did I get all this from? Jesus. <laughs> we repulse ourselves. I mean, I used, I used to look in the mirror and go, well, I'm not going to shag me, that's for certain. <laughs> Because that's what narcissism is all about, is looking in the mirror and going, God, I'd like to have sex with myself, you know? <laughs> you know, it's all sort of self-attraction thing. And then when you go, the acne thing, you just go, oh, no way. <laughs> and parents should tell you the facts of puberty. Look, your hair's gonna go greasy, your face will become a general plague area. <laughs> Here's a book on the Black Death. Um, <laughs> tufts of hair will grow on your chin, not in a sexy stubble way, but in a continuing plague theme. <laughs> Down here, I'm not even going to talk about that. <laughs> but here's a picture of your Uncle Jim. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's hell of <laughs> No, that's your aunt, sorry. Um, <laughs> that's Queen Victoria. Um, yeah, so, uh, and it's over months and years, isn't it? Puberty's over months and years. It should be one day. Get the fucker over with. <laughs> go into school. Sorry, I'm late. I don't know why I was late. <laughs> By the time you get home, right, I'm going home to get a job with a drill. <laughs> and that one day at school will be weird. Sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know. Excuse me, can I be excused? I seem to have the plague. <laughs> And then I had to chat up girls, and I'd never used the, my vocal ability to chat up girls. And when your voice is breaking, it's very hard saying, Oh, God, I'm Susan, I really I don't fancy you. <laughs> I saw you in the playground. <laughs> I had to chat up girls, and I'd only tagged them before, and I didn't have the verbal power to be able to say, Susan, I saw you in the classroom today. As the sun came from behind the clouds, a burst of brilliant light caught your hair. It was haloed in front of me. You turned, your eyes flashed fire into my soul. I immediately read the words of Dostoevsky and Karl Marx. And in the words of Albert Schweitzer, I fancy you. <laughs> but no, at 13, you're just going, hello, Sue. <laughs> I've got legs. Do you like bread? <laughs> I've got a French loaf. <laughs> Bye. I love you. 